and the configuration on the inside is just limited to uh, adjusting it shelf wise in uh, gun storage. Yes, so as you go up in uh, the uh, series, you're going to get a little bit different door package. And if you walk over here, um, I'll show you the next step or okay. progression of the door packages. Now the, the next progression on their door packages would be uh, the zippered pouches with the pistol storage and you're going to have a little bit nicer interior, a little bit plusher, and you're going to have a uh, plug kit and a light kit, a, a, a battery powered light kit. And then on the safe that we were looking at earlier, this uh, presidential, the biggest difference on it, it's going to come standard with a light kit, the plug kit, and it has a little accessory drawer that you can put jewelry and everything in. Now, when you look at the different manufacturers they're going to have different kinds of door kits and stuff some good some you know uh, bad uh, the next one i'll show you which would be the fort knox change your hat so you got to change my hat um fort knox would be this door package and it's going to have the zippered pouches again it's going to have the uh, pistol pouches this has a plug kit in it the adjustable shelving in uh, the safe for your different guns or you could have all shelving in it. So they're they're pretty common in the way that they uh, they set up the safe for storage. Um, uh, well let me say all except Browning. Browning Pro Steel is really the industry leader for okay. configurations of the safe. Can I see one of those? Of course. Um, and I'll show you their 2012 model which was very nice. It's called their Axis Interior. And what the Axis Interior is, the shelves adjust like a refrigerator shelf. And you just take them off the back and you can adjust it side to side, up and down, and configure it however you want to. And, it's, and this one has a drawer door in it. The other nice thing they have, it's called their DPX door package, which the DPX door package would be in I'm not doing them justice here, <laughs> Brownie. Uh, Brownie Pro Steel. Um, but their DPX door packages are going to let you store long guns on the door, mm -hmm. and which is increasing the uh, capacity of the safe. And so, what is, what is this recess here for? The recess is called a scope pocket. So, if I'm storing long guns on the door that have scopes, the uh, recess here is going to take that scope instead of it sticking out and getting in your way. I see. And then they include a little pistol bag with uh, some of their series of safes. And the really nice thing that they're doing for this coming year is they've upgraded their interior. And uh, if you'll walk right over here, I'll show you. This is their new interior. The progression of the, that uh, DPX and the uh, shelf system. And what they're doing is they're they're going to this on all of their safes from their silver and above series, and it's going to adjust like I was telling you from the back, right. like this. But everything's going to be interchangeable between their safe lines. So if I get this safe and I want some more shelves, uh, the dealers like me are going to have displays with extra shelves, and they also have the pistol storage on the bottom. So you can hang your pistol on it instead of cluttering up your shelf space. Mm -hmm. You just put that on the uh, the shelf. So, um, another thing they're doing is they have the jewelry drawers that are accessories. So you could get ten jewelry drawers if you wanted to, or um, any. Uh, well, that's just a plain drawer, and then they have file uh, paper holders too. So you have the DPX package, scope savers, the uh, access interior fully interchangeable, and you can you know, buy accessories to it to fit uh, whatever you're going to put in the safe. Okay. One of the things about the interior most people don't think about is you know, you're, you're going to think about security and how is this protecting my valuables in a fire or if someone tries to get in my safe. But really the interface on the safe that you're going to notice the most is the interior. So you really need to think of what you're putting in the safe again, hence my first question when someone comes in, is what you're putting in the safe. And this, uh, this interior allows you to pretty much customize the safe 
to fit the items that you're going to put in it. And not that the other ones don't, but Browning, uh, their slogan is the best there is, and in this case, it, it really is the best. It seems to be very flexible. It is, very flexible. Mark, what do we need to know about delivery and setup? Well, we can deliver and set up any of our safes. Mm -hmm. uh, really, the only caveat is that it has to fit in the space that you want it to go in. Uh, and we go up or down steps, uh, put it in your garage, anywhere in your home. Uh, we uh, install a lot of safes in people's garages. The thing I recommend that if you do put your safe in a garage or a, an area that's more accessible to somebody is that we bolt it down for you, which is an added security feature. Uh, the one big thing about delivery is all my employees are background checked, uh, bonded, and uh, have generally worked for me for a long time. The thing that I see other companies do is they have just anybody delivering their safes and which is a security issue because right. if you think about it the person coming out delivering your safe knows your combination so if the person is not trustworthy which i know mine are mm -hmm. um that's an area where someone could access your safe i can be say that'd be a factor so that, that would be a factor and if you think about it you're putting most of your valuables in one spot and if uh, an unscrupulous person had your combination or gave it to somebody, uh, they could access your valuables and uh, clean you out. Yeah. So that, that's a very important aspect when uh, you're choosing a company. Of course, we want you to choose the safe house, uh, but if you're not in this area and you choose another company, make sure that you ask them if they're delivering your safe, are your people uh, you know, insured, bonded, uh, my lead, uh, delivery manager is licensed through uh, Tennessee Locksmith, um, so he has his locksmith license, which is as well as I do in my company. But uh, you know, the people need to be, you know, uh, very good point. Very good point. You know, reliable. You, shown, you have shown us small document safes and gun safes. Are there any other safes that we need to be aware of? Yeah, there's. Um, we were talking about the gun safes being uh, the residential security container. Mm -hmm. um, the higher end, more secure safes, the TL rated safes, which stands for tool attack. Uh, we have some over here. If you want to walk over uh, sure. to the other side of the warehouse, we'll, sure. we'll show those. Mike, this uh, is an example of your higher rated secure safes. And as I was, was saying before, the different ratings, and that's that door on that safe weighs as much as some of the gun safes over there. Uh, the TL ratings, which is Underwriter Laboratories, rates these safes, which they should all have an Underwriter Laboratory listed tag on them, which signif uh, signifies that they've been through the testing, UL testing on it. So the testing that they do, it's called uh, a TL rating, which is tool attack, and it starts out with a TL 15 for the most part, which means it's been tool attacked for 15 minutes on the door. This particular safe is a TL30, so it's had a 30 minute attack test on the door. The next rating that you would go up to would be a TL30 times six, which means all six sides of the safe have gone through testing and can withstand a 30 minute attack test. The next uh, test would be a torch attack, torch attack, which would be a TR torch, TL tool for 30 minutes. And then there's a time six on that. So it's been tool torched tested on all six sides which this is a TL30 this safe weighs in the 5,000 pound range mm -hmm. a TR TL30 times six has more metal more concrete and stuff in it so it's gonna be even more heavy heavier than this heavier than that so you look at the gun safes that we talked about versus the TL rated safes this is much more protection and th this is generally used in say uh, a jewelry uh, jewelry uh, mm -hmm. place or a pawn shop anywhere that they're going to have uh, high valued items that they have to lock up and the ul listings are required by most insurance companies to insure stuff for uh, retail establishments so you go from our gun safe rated tl or excuse me the rsc residence security containers to the bf like the amsec bf rated safe which is one step up and then you're going to have uh, your tl rated safe now, there are a couple companies that offer TL rated gun safes. American Security offers a couple. And then uh, they don't rate their safes at TL ratings, 
but some of the upper end Fort Knox's will have the same protection that these safes. So this interior is strictly for the purpose of jewelry? Uh, bulkier items bulkier. and you could, of course we could do custom interiors for any safe mm -hmm. but these are generally configured for um, with just shelves. Now another thing I'd like to mention that we do is we custom manufacture our own uh, storm shelters, tornado shelters for the this area the southeast has a lot of tornadoes and this would be an example. We do above ground uh, storm shelters which are bolted to the concrete. A lot of our customers uh, we put these in their garage and bolt them down with a minimum of uh, 14 uh, 5 8 inch concrete anchors. So and what that translates into is you could be in the shelter, you have an F5 tornado, blow your house away and you'd still be secure with uh, uh, in our shelter. Another feature that we have exclusive on our shelters is we offer a uh, vault door that's made by Pro Steel, who makes Browning gun safes so you can secure valuables in here as well as protect your family against uh, any kind of storm damage and it could be a panic room. And with this shelter, you uh, can provide protection for your family as well as your valuables. And we've done some customizing where we've put fireboard in them and stuff too, so make it a big you know, walk-in gun safe. I see this door opens inward versus out. Right, which is very important on a storm shelter, because if you can imagine if you had an outswing door and debris fell on top mm -hmm. of the shelter and everything, you couldn't get out, which any uh, good storm shelter is going to have an in-swing door. And what, one thing I was saying about this door, it's been tested, fully tested, uh, meets all, meets or exceeds all the uh, FEMA standards for a tornado shelter or doors. So, but that's, that's another thing that we offer uh, to our customers, as well as the gun safes in your high high-end security safes. We also offer smaller pistol safes and home safes that uh, you can put other valuables in if you wanted something by your bed for a weapon for uh, you know protection or other valuables in your closet like the smaller uh, safes that you saw up when we first started talking. Right. Yeah. Mark, you've given us a lot of good information about small safes and big safes. Mm -hmm. What should we take home with us about information about what we should remember? Well, uh, the biggest things that I recommend to my customers for some of the things I mentioned earlier, uh, the biggest thing that I would recommend for somebody to do is to get as big a safe as they can afford or, or the area they're going to put it in. Because uh, in the 20 years I've been in business, I've never had someone call me and say their safe is too big and they don't have enough stuff to put in it. I get customers that buy smaller safes and they call me back six months or a year later and they've outgrown their safe. So that would be my number one recommendation. The next thing would be the security on the safe and what you're putting in the safe and how uh, securely you want to lock it up. Because if, as we've seen, there's, there's different uh, metal thicknesses, door thicknesses uh, that affect the security of the safe. The next thing would be fire rating. I recommend a minimum of one hour fire rating. Uh, you need to get as high a fire rating as you can afford. We all you know, have a budget but whatever that budget is, you need to get as high a fire rating, best security that you can. The next thing that's a very important thing is the company that makes the safe that you're purchasing. Because not all companies and safes or safes are uh, made equally. So you need to research that, buy it from a reputable company, make sure they stand behind their products. How do you know how they stand behind the products? That's the service I provide. All the brands that I carry, I've pretty much vetted through the years and I know they stand behind their uh, safes and the reason I know that is I do warranty work on all of them so I know the good the bad and the ugly on all these safes and how these companies stand behind it uh, for an example if you buy a safe from a big box store a large merchandiser they're they're selling boots and safes and candy and all this kind of stuff you're just another purchase of them when you come into my uh, establishment and purchase a product you're uh, a customer that I care about that if you have a question, you call and ask me. Uh, which brings up a point of if someone wants to get in touch with us, they call us on our phone uh, and ask any question they want to. Here in Tennessee, the air code 615-255-0500 uh, is the number, as you can see on the sticker on the, the uh, tornado shelter. Or they can get on the website, nashvillesafehouse.com. We have a contact page 
that they can shoot us an email and we'd be happy to answer any questions that they have on any of the topics that we covered or anything that they have a question about, they get in touch with us and we'd be more than happy to help them out. Mark, thank you so much. You've given us a great deal of information. Okay. Well, hey, well, let's uh, go over here. I had some other stuff to show you and uh, you promised to take me fishing let's later. So uh, let's uh, get out of here and go catch some fish.